Choose your fighter. Fight. 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 What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for checking this video out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay a while. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a massive closet clean out. I am so pumped to get my shit together and move all this out. If you haven't been following my videos, you probably don't know this, but I am moving in two weeks and I'm super excited, but I cannot take all of this stuff with me. Like, I promised myself that I would not let all of my crap follow me from place to place, and I have moved literally, like, the past five years, every single year, due to college and everything, and moving home, moving out, moving from my sorority house to an apartment. It's just crazy, like, all sorts of different things, and so I'm super excited to finally get out of, like, my childhood home, but there's just so much here that needs to be rid of. Um, I am literally, and not even kidding you, gonna put on Marie Kondo and, um, use it as inspiration, so, it's 10pm, I don't know why I'm starting this right now, but I just need to get it going, I need to start it, I need to get it over with, so, welcome, here we go, let's get started. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm not even ready. <clears throat> You can't even see the worst of it. This was me. This was me in high school. If you guys watched my like get to know me video, you know that I used to be obsessed with lime green and like these are so obnoxious, you guys. Like, did no one tell me? Okay, so Marie Kondo says to touch everything that you're going through and decide if it sparks joy. And if it does, then keep it. And if it doesn't, then thank it. <laughs> thank your item for being there with you, being there for you, getting you through the tough times, the happy times, the parties, the whatever, and then move it right along and pass it on to somebody else or sell it or trash it, whatever. First up, this tube top, I just feel like, I don't know, like you only have so many, I feel like it has a stain maybe on it. I think I'm gonna make a keep, a sell, a maybe, and a trash. Is that too much? I don't know. Next up is the Charlotte Russe top that I like. I definitely think that this one's a keep. This top like does not fit me right. It's so cute, but I just feel like my boobs are too big for it. And I feel like somebody could get better use out of it. So <sighs> it smells like my little. I think it's from Windsor. It's so cute. This is the tough part is like, I love my going out tops and Probably half my wardrobe is going out tops, but I don't go out anymore. You guys, I'm about to be 24 in two months. I'm old. Okay. Thank you, shirt. Thank you, red shirt. But I think I'm going to sell you. This top is super fun. I wore it for Valentine's Day at a date party. Um, it used to have a stain on it, but I don't think it does anymore. So, so fun. I think I have to keep it because it's definitely the style that I'm going for. I don't really have a style, you guys. It's literally t-shirts and leggings or biker shorts. So I'm trying to like find a cuter style and I think this is very cute. I just feel like it's super cropped for me and I'm a little weird about wearing super cropped things, but I really like this and I think I want to keep it because it's fun. So, okay, this is just a basic Target Wild and Fable striped tube top. It'd probably be cute for 4th of July, but also so with that red satin one. It's cute, but I just feel like it's like worn and it also kind of gaps. I think I'm going to thank it. Thank you shirt. Thank you for everything. This shirt's adorable. I've literally only worn it once. It is a little big on my boobs, but I absolutely love it. It was actually sent to me from Leave of Faith, which is like a super cute boutique that reached out to me and I'm loving the color of it and like the knot tie right here. It made my like boobs look pretty good. I don't know. I definitely think I'm going to keep it, but I need to figure out what the heck I'm going to wear with it. I think it'd be cute with like a jean skirt or like maybe some cropped jeans and wedges, but I definitely am keeping that one. Okay, this is literally just a plain black tube top that I cut these straps off of. <laughs> like, it literally had like spaghetti straps and I cut them off, you guys. I'm gonna go trash for you, buddy. But thank you. 
Thank you so much. And then this top is super cute. It's from Target. It's exhilaration. I like this one. I feel like I get some more use out of it. Picturing myself going to like all these brunches and like cute wineries and things like in these cute outfits, but I just never really do anything like that. So hopefully it'll happen for me. This is a gray tube top bodysuit that I love and totally lived in in college. It's LA Hearts. I think it's from um, Marshalls probably. But it's very tight, it's elastic up at the top, and it squeezes, like, my chest and arms. So I think I might move on from it, but I definitely lived in it and loved it. Okay, this shirt, love this shirt. Like, I literally, it's Wild and Fable, it's from Target. I think it's super cute. It's like a little um, handkerchief style tube top, but it's like a double XL and, like, pretty loose on me. I think I'm gonna keep it and just, like... I don't know I'll probably make sure that it fits because I think it's cute I just like I feel like it's just too big so I'm gonna put that in my maybe pile this <laughs> you guys this does not fit me anymore I loved the shit out of this shirt um it's from forever 21 it's a large but you guys it does not fit my large chest so, like it barely fits my boob <laughs> and like when it stretches across my chest it just doesn't look good because of that my friend i think i'm going to have to thank you and move on so sad um this one's cute this is from target this is so the so brand and it's an xl i like it because it's a tube top i need to like crank this down come on down um i like it because it's a long tube top and so it has a lot more coverage for me so i think i'm gonna hang on to that don't know why this random sweatshirt's in here with the, my crop tops, but um, I love this hoodie. Fun fact, this is one of my friend's ex-boyfriend's hoodies. Um, I'm going to hang on to this just because I literally live in hoodies in the fall and winter. And I know that this is like one of my favorites, so I don't know. I think it's from probably Paxson. I got this during brown season last fall. Who knows if the browns will have a season at all this year, but it's super cute. It is a cropped like cinched waist. Um, and I really loved it on me and it's surprisingly warm like even for being cropped but I'm definitely hanging on to this literally live in this one this is from Target it's called the lounge life cropped hoodie it's just gray I honestly need this in like every color just a basic gray cropped hoodie and I wear it like I live in it with a jean jacket over it like my favorite thing to wear to like breweries and stuff in the fall so can't get rid of that boy this brown hoodie my boyfriend thrifted for me it's so cute i live in this as well i don't know how i'm gonna do with hoodies like getting rid of hoodies right now this is one of my favorite going out tops it's one shoulder um honey punch this is from a boutique that used to be in kent called fig leaf it has just like this layer that goes over and it's one shoulder and it's a bodysuit um, and I love it. I think it's super flattering. I'm hanging on to that. <laughs> you guys, it looks so cute with jeans. I am getting rid of a lot of crop tops though and like going out outfits. So I'm really, like really proud of myself for that. This is like new. This is was in my first Shein haul that I ever did. It's like a low neck camo tee and I like it. I'm not doing the spark joy thing guys. Like I haven't been doing that. It's so hard for me to get rid of clothes. I don't have anything like this. I'm gonna hang on to it. <laughs> and you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna move my baby pile to give away because they clearly did not spark joy if I even had the thought of saying maybe, right? This crop sweater is super fun. I love wearing this around Thanksgiving or Christmas. However, I don't really feel super comfortable in it and it's kind of see-through, like it's very, very lightweight. I think I'm gonna give it away. I can find something similar to it, I think. It'll be fine. I've had it for like two years now, so. I'm looking at my giveaway pile right now, and almost all of it's red, so I wonder if there's like a theme going on. This shirt, I have given this shirt many chances, many, many chances, and I've only worn it once. I just don't like the stripes on me. I love the top, it's off the shoulder, and it does look good on my chest, but I just don't think that the horizontal stripes do anything for me. This is from Charlotte Russe, it is a medium. I'm going to be giving that one away, but I am going to thank it. I love this flannel. It is from Walmart, I think it's Terra Sky. It's a 0X, but it just like d doesn't 
fit my boobs like it just like doesn't button right and it's a very basic flannel i'll be able to find another one like it once the fall season comes around so i'm going to thank this flannel and give it away love 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 this fuzzy little cardigan from target i got lots of use out of it i bought it in like february for a valentine's day themed thing and i wore it like all the way up until I couldn't anymore until it was too hot and so I think that that's super cute and I'm definitely keeping that. This cherry top is cute. It's from Walmart. Um, I just posted a photo in it but um, and I do like it. I do really like it. I think it looks super cute with black jeans, white jeans, um, shorts, like anything like that um, and so I'm going to hang on to it. I got a lot of really awesome feedback on the post that I shared in it. This is my Nirvana tee. It's a graphic tee I got from Kohl's. I love it. I wore it to a date party and literally just cut it, stretched it a little bit and like cut the holes in it. I wore it I think with a bralette underneath it and fishnets and it was like super cute. I definitely still get use out of it so I'm hanging on to this. This is from Marshalls. It has gotten its wears and tears. I love it and still wear it. It's mesh so I usually wear like a black bra underneath it. It's like wearing a crop top but it still covers everything. Like it'll cover my stomach so that I can kind of wear like a bra or bralette um but still not have to show everything and I definitely still get use out of it when I go to the bars and I feel comfortable in it so I'm going to hang on to that. Next is a Wild and Fable basic white crop top tee um it has a square neck i think the square neck's really flattering on me i think i'm going to keep it it's good to have like just a basic white crop top tee um my friends make fun of me and say that this is like the only thing that they ever see me wearing but i never have too many basic white tees it's just kind of what i go for i guess exhibit a <laughs> here is another white top i really like this but it is a medium and i should be in a large I just bought this, um, Target wasn't letting me try it on so I just went for it and I honestly think that these straps are too tight around my shoulders. Either returning that because I think I have, I haven't even worn it yet and I still have the receipt so I think I might be returning this or giving it away so I'm just going to put it in my giveaway pile. I only have one trash thing right now so that's good. This is a super cute cropped sweater. I love the buttons. It's super cute buttoned or unbuttoned. Um, with something underneath it it definitely does spark joy i think that it's cute but it like gaps here because of my boobs yeah it's just too small what size is this a medium i'm very sad but i'm going to be giving you away this clean out has been long overdue so i'm glad that it's happening okay this shirt's like really confusing where did i get this i think i got this at marshall's maybe it's weird it's a manila color terracotta i guess it wraps and ties i've never worn it i've had it for over a year and so i'm going to give her away oh, my azd blocks this is my first pair of blocks on a quarter zip i literally love this quarter zip so much they're Ohio State blocks keeping it never getting rid of it even when it doesn't fit me anymore i will be which hopefully that never happens but I will be keeping that forever because it holds a special place in my heart. This is from Walmart, the Sherpa quarter zip. I live in this in the winter. I will be keeping that. This is a Kappa Sigma um, crew neck. This is my favorite. You can tell like permanent stains. Um, I'll be holding on to this for a long time, probably forever because um, I just have really good memories there. This is a homecoming sweatshirt from they didn't even put the date on it. I think 2017. And it's really cozy. One of my favorite crew necks. Like I said, I literally live in crew necks and corner zips. So keep it in. This is a business. I don't know. It's a business shirt, I guess. I wore it when I worked in the office. But I literally haven't worn it since. And I don't know what else I'd ever wear it to. So I'm just going to give it away. If I ever do end up working somewhere that I need, like business or business casual clothes, I'll just go buy more. Because that one is kind of old anyways um and has been worn so i just bought this craft hoodie from kohl's for literally like two dollars my mom works there so she gets mega discounts plus all the corona deals and everything i love this color i don't have anything like it it's a craft hoodie and then it has like a wide neck that bunches and i'm super excited to get used out of that this summer because it's like very lightweight it's almost like a long sleeve so same with this sweater super duper clearance it's like a little fuzzy white lightweight sweater 
deep V, loving it. It's an extra, extra large, so I think it's going to fit super oversized, but I'm really excited. So this jean jacket is from Marshalls. It's actually a boy's jean jacket, but I love it. I get lots of compliments on it. It's like super rugged looking. Um, it's oversized because it's a men's large and I get tons of use out of it. So definitely not getting rid of that bad boy. This sweater was one of my favorites. It's super, super cozy and super heavy. It's from Target. It's really hard to like think about winter clothes because it's not winter, but I want to keep it. But I'm not letting myself keep many other things because my key pile is like getting hefty. I don't wear these enough, you guys. Like I don't even remember the last time I wore this. Wild and Fable, Target. I love to shop at Target, clearly. This is just like an army green crop top, but you're done. Thank you. I got this basic v-neck tee for work when I worked at the office just because we weren't like super corporate style like we could wear like business casual clothes and we could wear jeans so i wear this with like dark jeans with no holes um like a cute belt i don't know i think i'm gonna hang on to it because it is definitely like something that i could wear with a cardigan and that i could dress up like now that i have a lot of tortoise and like cheetah stuff i think that it would go with it and i'm like loving that burnt color my cars t-shirt which is in my overnight bag from this weekend um is that color and i like really like that color on me this is a jersey that my dad got me for christmas i don't know it's kind of strange that i have a lot of browns clothes because i am not an avid browns fan <laughs> i also lived in this t-shirt when i worked in the office but it's like kind of coming apart like it's pretty worn out and it's also kind of see-through and so you need to wear like a cam under it which i just don't have like the efforts to wear but i also do not own like an oversized black v but i also like don't have any other black v-necks and so i okay no i think i'm keeping it all right this shirt was given to me by my g little lover to death it's super cute but it is a small and i need to stop thinking that it fits me because it doesn't love you and i love you g little but this is going somewhere else another super cute flannel um american eagle super comfy love the colors but it is too small on me every winter i try to get it to fit me and it doesn't it's only getting worse um so i think that in the fall by then i do have plans to be down another 15 pounds so hopefully i can just shop for new flannels then this is one of my absolute favorites it's from new york and company um it's just like a big oh my god it looks huge when i hold it up there it's like a big oversized tunic style um color block tee love it like i literally love this and i get a lot of use out of it so um i'm gonna hang on to that and that's fairly new too i think i got that in october all right i'm not like super crazy about this crop top from marshall's this is caution to the wind definitely a marshall's um brand it has like a lettuce style sleeve and bottom to it but again those horizontal stripes on me i just don't think that they look the best i love her but she's gotta go she's gotta go thank you so much for the memories because i wore you to lots of different bars love 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 this top okay hey guys so my camera actually died so i may or may not have finished up my closet without you but um i wanted to show you kind of what i was doing so this here is my giveaway pile, donate, Goodwill, Play-Dohs, sell. Um, there's honestly quite a few gems in here. But then this is how my closet turned out. So I recognized that I actually do think I need to go shopping. So I got rid of like so much stuff, which is awesome and exactly what I wanted. But um, I also coordinated like my hangers so now they're all the exact same style and they're either white or black white is for the lighter weight stuff and then black is like t-shirts sweatshirts and all that kind of jazz back here i have dresses they're just really long and right now because of like my mom's storage and everything i don't have a lot of room in my closet to hang them so they're like shoved back here but i did go through my dresses as well um i'm so excited to like move in figure it all out in my walk-in closet and color coordinate well okay so here's the thing i tried to color coordinate my clothes um which i think is like a good idea like i love the way that it looks but i absolutely cannot stand for some reason when the clothes like don't line up like i literally love how like this is all like short and like crop top stuff and then it like goes into like my t-shirts and like long sleeves 
because when I tried putting like all the blacks together, um, I have like tons of crop tops and then like sweatshirts and like they just all look like weird mixed in. So when I move, I might try to color coordinate and then maybe go by like color and then also by style. All of the hangers that I am getting rid of. And then I am going to go through my t-shirts right now. I have a shitload of t-shirts, but I'm not gonna like show them to you guys because I'm not gonna be selling any of them because they're all like old probably. So I'll probably just time lapse this, but enjoy. Okay, so I was able to find some that I was going to get rid of and some that I need to hang up. So in this top drawer though, I have my fitted t-shirts, like t-shirts that like just fit and like, um, but aren't oversized. And here are my oversized ones that I sleep in. And then down here in the bottom, I don't even know if you can really see, but down here in the bottom, I have my long sleeve shirts. I am going to shower and go to bed because I am so tired. Tomorrow, I am going to go through my things. And that's probably going to be super interesting. I need to go to bed. I don't even know what time it is and I'm scared to look. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright, what's up guys? It is now the next day, as you can probably tell. And I am going to be going through my shorts, joggers, leggings, pants, jeans and crap. I don't even know how to describe the rest of it. Basically just my stuff. I have cubes over here which I can kind of show you. So I have like my cubes over here all full of everything from bathing suits to socks to I honestly don't even know and I don't really want to know but I have to go through this stuff so let's get started. I, guess. I am going to not go through my underwear and bras in front of you. So we're just going to skip that step. I'm going to go through my leggings and I honestly don't think that I have a pair of leggings that I want to get rid of. I love all of my leggings, even my Lulus that are completely pilled and worn and I think even have a few rips in them. I hope to one day be able to fit in them so I'm going to keep them around. Like just that can transform. Just trying to get comfy here. Oh. Okay, these jeans, I love them to death, but I do not know how much I can get out of them, like how much more I can get out of them. Seriously, the entire leg is ripped. Like the whole leg is ripped. I'm gonna hang on to these because nobody else obviously is going to take them. They are so worn and I still do get used out of them. But when I go shopping tomorrow, jeans are like, number one on my list i need new jeans so so bad and i've been putting off jeans because i don't want to buy ones that fit right now because i'm like trying to not be this size for any longer i'm super upset about these because i wore them all the time but they just recently got a rip in the crack so i have to get rid of those okay so i need to make a pile for sweatpants holy crap a girl can never have too much sweatpants huh I think because I'm not wearing these right now, I'm just going to give them away because they're slacks and they're really nice. These are my Michael Kors. I wore them all the time when I worked at my office job. Because I was getting rid of my like office style shirts, I don't see why I would need office style pants. I guess for like an interview maybe I should hang on to them. I'll hang on to them. I'll hang on to them. These are too small on me. Upsetting. Well, that was quick. I only got rid of like two things. So at this point, I'm just moving stuff from one area to another. And it's very <laughs> overwhelming. Okay, I'm basically just going to go through and then I guess show you once I come across something that I'm getting rid of or selling. Obviously, because I want you guys to see that, but I will probably be speeding up everything else because god only knows what's in these things and it can't be anything super important so unless i find something extremely entertaining or something that i am getting rid of i will just let you guys speed through this process
does anyone want an iPhone cord? It charges super well. What is this remote to? I don't even, well, nothing too exciting, but I found some Kohl's Cash, um, really old bra. This bra from probably seventh grade. Yeah, surprisingly, that's pretty much it. It looks like my room is still super cluttered, but I'll make sure to show you guys like when I move out, how I pack things and like what my room looks like before I leave and then what my new room looks like once I put it together. Like it will make sense when it all comes together. Right now, my room is literally like <laughs> atrocious. It's just like there is stuff everywhere and it's so overwhelming. And I know like this happens to me every time that I'm getting ready to move. Things are like everywhere. There's so much going on. Like I am so stressed about like where to put everything, how to pack up everything, but it all comes together and it all ends up being okay in the end. So I'm really just trying not to worry about it. Um, but luckily I have my videos and stuff to hold me accountable. So I'll definitely make sure to kind of keep you guys updated and take you with me every step of the way this move. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate you guys watching and I'm excited to kind of update my moving experience and series with you guys. I guess I can make this like kind of a mini series. I'll probably clump all of these vlogs videos together um in one playlist over on my channel so this will be the first of many over the next few weeks thanks so much for checking this video out don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you enjoyed it i will see you guys on friday